This is a new world for us. The grid opens the possibilities to test systems at end-to-end -end configuration from the moment power is either being generated or consumed as an electric motor to being distributed. This lab is fantastic and it will be able to test for many different electrified architectures, going from mild hybrid to the ability to full electric aircraft utilizing energy storage as fuel. Anytime you talk about aviation, you need to have an, a mechanism to actually test the technologies. You have to get it certified. Uh, and one of the main ways to get that certified is having it tested. The grid actually provides an environment to go test those technologies to in, ensure performance, system sustainability, and moving forward with those things to ensure that we have a safe flight moving forward for all our customers. Here in the grid, we're going to have megawatt capability, thousands of volts capability, the ability to run multiple systems, the ability to run complete end-to-end -end powertrains. So the grid's going to give us capability to test those kinds of systems that we've never had before. As of right now, we have three distinct dynos uh, within the grid itself, each dyno having the capability to test over two megawatts each. Uh, so we're looking at the, the grid itself having the ability to test currently at eight megawatts with the ability to go and expand to 15 megawatts whenever that is really needed. We never really wanted to stop at one point. We always wanted to have that ability to increase the environment for us to innovate. I mean, the grid could go up to eight megawatts. You know, no one's really talking about that today, but we're going to be ready for it. One megawatt of power is quite a bit. Think about the driving distance from Rockford, Illinois to Washington, D.C. One megawatt is enough power to power those 750 miles of street lights. We're going to open the grid lab and the first program that we're going to test in it is the switch program. Now, the switch program I love for many reasons, uh, particularly it is for a large commercial airplane hybrid propulsion engine. And so we're going to start system integration testing next year on that and really start to understand what the opportunity is for the savings that we can see when we put a hybrid system in operation. And this is truly at a megawatt class scale. We just recently achieved a significant milestone for that program where we, we actually demonstrated the one megawatt of power. We've been working towards this milestone for many months and to actually have achieved it was incredible. That's what's really exciting if you're sitting in my chair today with what I do know about the industry. It's a great industry. The industry actually is changing and power and controls and electric power systems in Rockford and the grid have the ability to lead the way.